with the Rustic by Stamen and Sons and today we're going to be building a beer caddy. Uh, so six bottles of beer with a beer op opener on the end, Father's Day is coming up so if you wanted to you know, build a, one of these for a father or a grandfather, something that you can maybe leave on the doorstep or something that you can enjoy then this is the video you want to be watching. So before we get started, uh, a friend of mine Matt Everett needed a few sheets of wood. Uh, I don't like selling things to friends. I prefer to not have cash exchanging hands where possible. Um, if somebody's got something I need and I've got something in their need, then I'd much rather be doing trades between friends. Um, so Matt's actually started in lockdown selling uh, t-shirts, apparel, you may say. Put a name on it, it's lovely packaging. Um, so I said, you know what, why don't we do a trade? <coughs> And then he said, obviously I want you to be unboxing it on YouTube, so we're going to just drop it in at the beginning of this video. I feel like I can wear it throughout the video and let you know if it withstands work. If you like the look of the apparel, uh, you can actually get in touch with Matt on Facebook. It's just Matt Everett, uh, Matt with a double T, and then Ever, I double T at the end, Everett. Uh, and he's also on Instagram, Matt Everett Tattoo. Um, so if you like the look of the t-shirt and you wanted to buy one of these t-shirts, it does ship them nationwide, I do believe. Um, so pop over to Matt Everett's Facebook or his Instagram and take a look. But without further ado... I almost don't want to open this, it's too nice. Oh, it's ripping the label and everything. Sorry, I've done to all that effort. Oh, it's ripped. I've got a pretty poem. I don't know if I should read this bit, I'll leave it for a surprise. Just 10% off your next order. I thought it was going to be something philosophical, if I'm honest. If you're struggling, if there's more than one Matt Everett on Facebook, by the way, uh, is the one that looks like a human version of Sully from Monsters, Inc. Actually, he's quite a lot like Sully in his personality as well. Matt Everett may be Sully. Come to think of it, I've never seen Matt Everett and Sully in the room at the same time. Matt Everett is definitely Sully. Can't remember if I went for a three-quarter sleeve or a normal T-shirt. Oh. Apparently I went for a three-quarter. Very good. Happy with that, Matt. So, quick note again, if you do want to pick up one of Matt's t-shirts, then you need to pop over to his personal Facebook page, which is just Matt Everett, looks like a human version of Sully off Monsters Inc. Or on his Instagram page, which is Matt Everett Tattoo. I will put a link to his Instagram page in the description as well. So back to the beer caddy. So I do have some old pine boards which are going to be absolutely perfect for this. Um, I've got leftover from stripping down a games cabinet. Um, a few little holes, screw holes, but we're not going to worry about that. We are called simply rustic after all. So basically this is a super simple design. All we're going to be making is a box which is going to be taller on one end which we're going to shape over at the bandsaw. Uh, we just need a handle on it, and then we'll be adding a bottle opener to the outside, and it'll carry six bottles of beer. So, first thing we need to do is just chop everything to length over at the mitre saw. So, the pieces we've cut, we have the two end pieces at 350 millimeters. We have two sides at 250 millimeters. 
and we have a base at 210 millimeters. Now this is six by one. It's not actually six by one though. So the wood is, it's not actually quite six by one. It's actually six and a half by a bit less than one. I work in millimeters, I hate inches. So it's 165 millimeters wide by 20 millimeters thick. This is perfect. Um, so it's going to be a really basic construction, two end boards, two side boards, one bottom, and then we're going to, say we're going to shape these two boards and then pay, we're going to put a piece of dowel in between for a nice handle. Easy peasy. Let's mark it up and get over to the bandsaw. Now, when you get in this shape, we don't have to be majorly perfect. We don't want it to look absolutely crisp and pristine. If you do, adopt a different method. But for me, I think as long as we find the center of the wood, which I said it was 165 millimeters wide, so we just want to get to 82.5, which is here. So we've got a center point in our wood. And then we don't want to be going any lower than this because this is where the side wall is going to be. So as long as we don't come any lower than that, you can start drawing your shape in you know, just shape it up. You can bottleneck it if you like, whatever you want, as long as you're gonna leave enough room at the top to get a dowel or a branch or some sort of handle into the top there. So I think what I'll do is this one, I'm gonna leave a good 30 millimeters at either side. So, go. Get a nice 30 millimeters at either side there. And then we're going to shape down. So we've got that is our point on that side. This is our point on that side. Now, usually. I really, really, really like symmetry. But for something like this, I can try to let it slide a little bit. Now obviously once I've done one, I will be transferring that onto the other one. So there will be symmetrical side to side, but if we can't quite get this absolutely bang on, we're really not gonna lose any sleep over it. You know, you want it to look something like, but like I say, we're not losing sleep if it isn't absolutely stunningly, beautifully symmetrical. go. Let's attack that at the bandsaw. So back from the bandsaw we have two of the same pieces of wood now, both shaped the same and all we're going to do from now it's just screw it all together. It should be a fairly easy build up. Usually I would use um, glue and brad nails for this, but I'm not very organized and I've run out of brad nails. So we're not gonna be doing that. We're gonna be screwing it today, but we will still glue. So, I see it's a really easy build up. It's very, very, very simple. All you're gonna need to do is lay out your glue. screw into place.
Now, for the base, it couldn't really be much easier. Literally slot it on the top there. Obviously, we're going to glue it up. And we're just going to put screws through. We will use a slightly longer screw for this, uh, so it's got a bit more support holding your bottles of beer. So we've got the basics of our beer caddy down. The thing, what we need to be doing now is just checking that the beer actually fits. I mean, it should, because we've done our measurements, but we just want to check that the beer fits, because you don't want to be going any further now uh, and getting it all finished to find out that you've made something slightly wrong. So I would just check that all your beers fit. Our beer of choice today is Budweiser. Now, if you'll notice, it's not a snug fit. This is so we can leave room for a divider just in between the bottles, okay? So, you see how it's, they're not snugly fitting at the minute, but we're gonna be putting a divider in between the bottles to stop them rattling around. So, that all looks good to me. Now, for the handle, I was gonna use something round and shape these tops. But I think to keep it in keeping with the rest of the boxy feel, um, I'm going to get a piece of the same pine and actually, instead of shaping these tops, we're going to rip a piece of pine down to 60 mil, take the bevel, you know, bevel the edges a little bit to, so it's not uncomfortable in the hand, but then keep it like that. So we're going to rip another piece of pine down now and chop it to length on the mitre saw, and then we'll rip it down to 60 mil, which is what that is, so it fits nicely into there on the table saw. The handle fitted, we just need to sand this up now. It is already a plain finished piece of wood, so we don't need to do much sanding. We just want to try and shape this a little bit, um, take the rough edges off and, you know, just make it look a little bit more appealing. You see, I finished this off just by doing some simple lap joints in there, just to separate the beers. Um, you don't have to do, you don't have to put a lap joint in. What you could do is just put one bar across and then screw the other pieces on top of it, so they're sat on different levels. That would make it slightly easier for you to do. If you want to know how to do a lap joint, there are so many videos on YouTube. But if you want to know one, please let me know in the comments section, and I can do a little video on doing a simple lap joint. But there you go. So, all we need to do now is just attach the bottle opener to the front, and it's finished. And there you have your complete beer caddy. Complete with holes to hold six beers snugly in there, bottle opener on the end, and now that is a perfect Father's Day gift if I ever saw one. Um, it's up to you how you want to finish it. You can just leave it as it is. If you wanted to, you could. You can torch this, you can stain this, you can paint this, you know, go mad, do whatever you want. Um, this one is actually going to be for a customer, so we are going to be torching this and then coating it in a coat of varnish. Uh, we're also going to be engraving beer across the front there. Um, but for you guys at home, you can stop right there, hand that over to your dad, your granddad, and they are going to be absolutely over the moon with that. Um, really simple, easy design, you know, I'm pretty sure anybody can do it. If you haven't got a bandsaw, you can just do that with a jigsaw. If you haven't got a jigsaw, you could just use a handsaw, do a straight cut, you know, just a nice tapered straight cut up there, that'd be perfectly fine. So you could really put this together um, with just a handsaw uh, and some screws if you wanted to. It'd be a lot harder than obviously using power tools, but if you're limited to what you've got, you know, the possibilities are endless. There you go guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video, if you have enjoyed the video please do subscribe to the channel and don't forget that bell notification so you're notified when new videos come out. We've got some other great videos lined up uh, in the editing process as we speak. And don't forget guys, if you like the shirt that I have been modelling today, 
then take yourself over to Matt Everett's page. Um, these are on a sale for £16 each, plus postage if you're not in the local area. Um, support another local business. You know, it's just a small startup since lockdown. You want to get yourself over there and have a look at the couple of t-shirts he's got on there already. These are actually designed by Matt himself. Um, you know, it's not just a Google image. This is something that Matt's designed himself. So, guys, we've ended another video. Get yourself out, make yourself a beer caddy for your dad or your granddad. If you would like to join our pallet group, there'll be a link in the description and also our Facebook page. There'll be a link in there also. I'll also drop a link for you to buy these from eBay, but they're not hard to find. Just type in cast iron bottle opener. They'll pop up. You'll see them. They're not expensive at all, but happy making guys. See you soon. Hey everyone, it is another day now, but I just actually wanted to share the finished product with you all because I'm absolutely in love with it. Um, so for the customer, we did a torched finish all inside. Uh, we finished this with just two coats um, of a, just a basic polyurethane varnish. Uh, and then we scribed this on with the pyro, little pyro pen, uh, cut that out using the bandsaw. We finished that one in a yak varnish um, just because it just gives the wood a little bit more of a tone, which we didn't need because we was burning this, so we didn't need that extra tone. Um, and then just stuck that on using wood glue and clamps. But I think you can agree, the finished product, I actually want one myself. Um, I'm really happy with how this has turned out. And you can see the difference, just a little bit of a blowtorch and some varnish can make to that finished product. So, for the second time, see you soon guys.